see this place that you're looking at? This called the hood. And I'm just a young nigga trying to make it out the hood. Really? I'm just here to tell my story. So with that being said, let's get to it. Another day in the hood. See, the thing that I do best, I find ways to get money. It's not always a legal way. I'm known around here as a stick up man. So when I see what's the word, people always tell. I break them off a little something too though. These are my homies. Hey, what's the word, Cole? Shit. Word on the street. It's a liquor store around there. And this Chinese man, he holding a lot of bread in there. If you can get in and get out, you know, I can, I can give you the map. You feel me? But you gotta throw me a little something. Say less, my nigga. Say less. to punch out so I don't get no fuck nigga run that I'm shit hurrying, get up I need it all nigga and you move I'm gonna pop your fucking face you should be ashamed of yourself shut the fuck up or I'll blast your bitch ass But I knew I could do it again, though. It wasn't hard the first time. After hitting that lick, I had a little money in my pocket, and I was ready to link with this little chick I had met. Let's go someplace where nobody can record us. She low key was a little stripper. She always had to drop on niggas who had the bread. So, a chick like this, she'll help a nigga like me come up. Cause I was always looking to see who got it. back in right quick you know nothing major the whole time though she had told me about this super duper lick and here i am already working on my next move gonna go get that shit cause this the type of lick i was really gonna come up on but
best bet is to get up. I ain't backing down, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. What that motherfucker dope? What that motherfucker coke? It? Give it up, bitch. Yeah. Told y'all niggas I wanna play with you. Yeah. Put your ass down. Fuck down. Fuck up, guys. Yeah, I knew the reputation these niggas had. But shit. I really wasn't concerned with it at the time. I was just looking for a quick come up. And now that I knew that the ballers could be possibly on my ass, I knew it was time for me to move around. I mean, didn't nobody see my face. But you never know. Sometimes niggas always have a way of finding out who did what. After hitting a lick like that, I really wasn't hurting for no bread. And it was time to move. So I'm low key eating up. You feel me? Bowing appetite around this motherfucker. You know? I bought a new whip. Matter of fact, bought a few new whips. <laughs> Plus, I had started working on the music shit, you know. And I didn't want the road to feel like, you know what I'm saying, I'm leaving them behind. Because even though I'm on this music shit, I never forget where I came from. Yo, yo, Mac. Hey, Mac. What up, nigga? What you been on? Who the fuck is that? Oh, three? What up, my nigga? <laughs> hey, sorry about what happened to your cousin. I heard about that shit. And I heard the ball is the one who did that shit to him. The fuck you talking about? Oh, you don't know? Shit, your cousin disappeared. About two weeks ago. Damn. This can't be true. I ain't been around in a minute. And I ain't even know nothing had happened to my cousin. That was my first time even finding out something happened. So I spin the block. I say, fuck it. I'm going to cuz crib. Hopefully this shit a rumor. See, nobody answered. I was riding around all night, thinking about my next move. I'm definitely finna smoke these niggas. Cause I got the drop on who killed my cousin. And I couldn't let that shit slide. But at the same time, on the music shit, I had a release party coming up soon. And I was not trying to go to jail. So I knew I had to be in and out. Now, if I was gonna do this shit, I had to do it fast. I thought these niggas knew, but obviously they didn't. So once again, it was time for me to put that motherfucking ski mask on. about a release party just to see how many people would be there. I ain't know this many people was fucking with the music. I had to go back home, change it to my suit, and it's showtime. See, the thing about coincidences that I ain't like, 
but there's always somebody who knows somebody that you know. You see this bitch right here? She was a setup bitch. Right, let me know if I can get you something. Remember the chick who told me about the lick? The super duper lick with the ballers? Well, this her friend. And she told her friend everything. Come to find out, her friend's brothers are the ballers. And they was there that day. I hit that place up. So now this bitch here at my release party spiked my drink. Passed out. Woke up in the baller's hood. This bitch was setting me up. I ain't see it ending like this. Good thing I survived. One thing I learned is all money ain't good money. And when you're trying to get it the ski mask way, that shit always come back to bite you. Yeah. Right off. Yeah. I'll be like, fuck it. Yeah. You take a risk to stand for something. Most people fish. They'll never stand for nothing. See time like this made me think when I was young. Saw them had and drugs up in the snow. Yeah, they was hush. But Hunk was on on drugs, they was selling possums, fussing. Needle in the bathroom, he was using on a hushin'. But I had your shit here, take it here, something just go back, get more drugs. Tell Slat right quick, no he need that fix, dope dealers be like.